It's been almost six months since the deadly hard rock collapse in downtown New Orleans. And after a failed attempt to get a contract for an implosion, the developer is making changes while blasting the city for what it calls a media campaign of lies. Mike McDaniel reports. Plans to bring down the Hard Rock Hotel collapse site are once again changing, but the back and forth between the city of New Orleans and the developer, 1031 Canal Development, remains the same. In a statement to WWL-TV Friday, 1031 Canal plans a traditional demolition pending a permit from the city, and the engineering plans are expected to be submitted April 22nd. The city already accused 1031 Canal of failing to submit plans Thursday which the city's attorney indicated were instructions from a civil court. In its statement, 1031 Canal maintains those plans were only a request from the city with an artificial deadline. The city has been pushing for an implosion of the site to be handled by D.H. Griffin Companies, but because the company says it can't afford the $50 million insurance policy, 1031 Canal says plans need to change. According to its statement, if the new plan to use cold grading is approved, it would take about six months to complete. While the city and the developer can't seem to agree on much, they do agree on one thing. Both want the partially collapsed building taken down as soon as possible and retrieve the bodies of the two workers still trapped inside. But all the back and forth is keeping that from happening. This has taken too long. In an interview last week, the city's deputy chief administrative officer, Ramsey Green, said the longer it's up, the more potential for problem. We have June 1st uh, as hurricane season ahead, and we have an incredibly unstable building in the commercial center of our city. In an email sent to nearby businesses at the collapse site, 1031 Canal even points fingers at the city for holding up demolition and accused the city of spreading lies. In a statement Friday from the city's attorney, a rebuttal, stating 1031 Canal has had six months to come up with a demolition contract and the holdup is not because of the city. You can read those statements in their entirety over on our website. Once demolition plans are submitted to the city, there will first have to be a review process before approval, which means there's still no date on when demolition can begin. Reporting from downtown, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. And be sure to stay with Eyewitness News for the latest developments on the Hard Rock Hotel on air, on our app, and our social media pages.